Hey, Megan Lynn here, Spiritual Empress. What's up? Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I Sorry I wasn't recording really. We just got real busy with Christmas stuff and we had a really fun Christmas party we went to. Uh, and then I've just been baking. I have a friend that lives really close to me now, so I've been spending a lot of time hanging out with her. We've just been baking a lot. Um, so Leo and I, I are kind of like on a baking like extravaganza right now. So. I have way too many baked goods, which is not good because I don't really eat sweets, but I love to bake. So uh, yeah, we've just kind of been hanging out, having fun. Um, and then a lot of stuff's going down. So happy birthday to all my Capricorns. Um, actually at the party last night, it was pretty funny. The first girl to pull me to a table, she's like, come, you're sitting by me or whatever. She's a Capricorn, so her birthday is coming up too. But uh, yeah, we're just having fun and uh, almost in the aqua season. So. Sorry, this is a little bit late. I'm gonna do the Aquarius reading for January. I can say I'm getting very interesting. Two nights ago, I got very interesting download. It was very creepy. <laughs> Just an interesting download. So I'll probably talk about that. Um, welcome to the new people on the channel. Um, anything you wanna hear about, drop in comments below. Also likes, comments, shares, subscribes, all those things. And then if you wanna book readings, my email is wmegan. M-E-G-A-N 939 at gmail.com and we'll go ahead and get that scheduled um, and I do all types of stuff not just like tarot I usually do uh, charting combined with that if you guys would like to book something but very Aquarius interesting energy I guess for Aquarius this month I'll be interested to see kind of what comes out um, I, and I'm kind of also like feeling like there's gonna be some sort of shift or some sort of change um, so if you guys are looking for something like that, I just feel like something's kind of shifting. So if you guys are kind of going through stuff right now, um, we're in Capricorn season, so it's already going to be a little bit uh, rougher for Aqua. But um, don't worry, we're almost out of it. <laughs> so um, anyway, we'll just get right into the reading. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working on it right now. I just got this brand new laptop and I got it like two months ago and I have barely used it because we're using it for the business. But um, I finally can get into all my comments because it's uploading really weird on my phone. So anyway, we'll get into it for Aquarius. Again, happy birthday, Capricorn. Ooh, we got reverse souls. Okay, that's kind of what I was saying. These are, well, you guys are showing up. Okay, first cards, I'm actually gonna read this a little bit different than I normally read. Um, let me see. First three cards out, you have the star in reverse. Yeah, I was, that's weird because I just said that. You have the star in reverse, so this is the Aquarian card, okay? You showed up in your own reading. That's been happening a lot more lately. Um, but you also have the hangman in reverse. I feel just a definite, like, stale energy, okay? Like, not some, like, when we were coming into, like, fall and all that, uh, a lot of you must have been like, uh, I mean, if you, if you have a high Aquarian placement, it's probably had more drive, more inspiration, more stuff like that. And it looks like, I don't know if something has recently happened. Like I said, I feel like there's drastic changes. I don't know if this is a relationship, but it kind of looks like it is. It looks like there was a drastic change in a relationship or something happened uh, because you have that hangman in the reverse here. So you're feeling very stuck and maybe not sure where you wanna go. Um, Cause I see two people here with you, okay? Um, you have the nine of wands after that too. So some, I feel like something happened and something wore you out. Not necessarily feeling really like a battle about it, but it, it was like something just drastic happened. And I don't know if that's just a change in, it looks more kind of like this is a relationship um, because you have two people here. Um, so you have the queen of cups, and in between that, you have the two of wands. And then you have also the king of cups, okay? So high water influence energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be dealing with somebody like that and or uh, somebody who has that in their charts. Um, but you two people here. So again, these two people belong together, all right? So definitely, I think, a relationship reading. <laughs> Normally, I don't do these. 
Uh, it looks like these two people or these, this situation where it involves another person, it looks like you guys actually have very good uh, chemistry, emotional understanding, uh, hopefully emotional trust, um, but it looks like you guys are actually um, built very well, well for each other. Um, in between you two though, you have the two of wands in the reverse. So something is definitely stagnant or it's not progressing, or it looks like also maybe you guys aren't communicating with each other effectively, or there's some sort of breakdown in communication um, or in movement with whatever this partnership is. Again, it doesn't have to be love. It could be work as well. Let's see what happened though. What's this uh, lack of communication? Or... Yeah, you have a death of something, okay? Again, drastic change. If something ended with you guys, um, again, this is Scorpio's card. You got a bunch of water here, okay? A lot of worry, uh, water energy. This is the death card here. This is the end of a cycle. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean um, the ending to a relationship. It is the end of, a, of patterns of cycles within this um, union, okay? Um, but it looks like there's a definite death to it. Now, because of that, it looks like you guys both are feeling a little bit stagnant. Either you're trying to figure it out um, but again, a cycle has ended within that. Uh, with partnerships and things like that, they're actually always changing and evolving. And I always say this too, if you guys are in a partnership, it could be at work as well. Um, things always have to change. If they're not always changing and evolving, you're not growing. So if you have the right partner, um, and if you guys watch Jordan Peterson a lot, he uh, says that you want somebody to contend with, okay? Because if you don't have somebody to contend with, that is always okay with you staying the same, uh, then there's going to be no progress for you personally or for them personally. But there's definitely a, an ending of uh, either or of the relationship. Um, and you could not be communicating with this person or you guys are not communicating effectively. And it looks like whatever this cycle is, it's going to be um, ending. Okay. It also, also could be the ending of different patterns within your relationship that aren't healthy. Okay. Um, Scorpion, some, some Scorpio energy can be toxic. Um, you know, we don't have the, we don't have a, the devil that showed up, but, um, it's also about rebirth too. Sometimes you have to evolve relationships. So, Hey, this no longer is serving us or whatever. Now we need to kind of change it up, okay? So that's kind of what I'm seeing for that. What is the Nine of Wands here for? Okay, you have the Nine of Wands here. You have a Hermit in reverse. You guys may not be really contemplative at this time, because whatever happened here with the Nine of Wands, with the Hermit in reverse, you may not be very complicated or uh, contemplative about what's going on. You may not actually be seeing um, all facets of things, okay? Because the Hermit is like the truth seeker, all right? So it looks like you either, maybe um, also you are not telling the truth or this other person isn't, or you guys are figuring out some sort of truth. Um, that's com maybe coming to light too, because you do have the uh, hermit card here, but it doesn't look like you're actually going into yourself. This looks like kind of a little bit more, you're kind of tired, okay? Because you have the seven of wands in the reverse. Um, so it looks like you're, it, whatever it is, and if you are walking away from the situation or anything like that, you don't want to go into anything that's going to put you in defensive situations, okay? Um, because this is showing that you're not feeling very defensive, or maybe if you guys are having communication issues, you would be maybe open to communication with those wands there. Who do we have here? Again, Scorpio showed up. Virgo, but that's in the reverse, so I don't know. Let's clarify on this stuck energy. Okay, this has to do with money. So that's the building with stuff. King of Swords, okay? A lot of people say this is a straight up Aquarian card too. High Aquarian energy in the swords. I think the wands are more air signs for me. But um, a lot of that energy here, it looks like you guys are very um, focused on moving forward with something, but you're stuck about it. And again, it has to do with money. You have the three pentacles here, okay? You don't have the bread yet. You don't have the coin yet that you might need. Um, but it's something that you are very passionate about, okay? You're just not there yet. You're stuck there with that. Um, also, also with this partnership, also ending too, that could be affecting the progress of this. Or also a cycle changing or situations changing, okay? Because like I said, 
you're kind of phasing out of something and rebirthing. So maybe you're actually going to have to come at this a new perspective in order to make it work for you, okay? The hair font in reverse, lots of reversals, six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this has to do with, there's, there's money here. And I think a lot of what's going on um, with this partnership is um, also kind of, It's like, okay, so you have the year font in reverse. It's like you're not taking the knowledge, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over expecting different results. It looks like you're not um, kind of taking that knowledge and it looks like you guys kind of weren't changing patterns. Again, that's ending, but it's also something that's affecting you financially, okay? Well, that's cool. Told you, I, I got downloads, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna talk about what I dream about. I got downloads in the last like two days. Uh, it has been almost, um, I feel almost like hostile energy with people. Be careful about what you watch online, you guys. Um, things that can get in your head, um, things you're watching too much, stuff like that. But uh, it just, it's been really, for me, the last couple days, it's been really, really low energy, okay? Um, so again, that could just be Capricorn season. Okay, but it looks like with the relationship or whatever the situation is, um, it both both of you, I don't know if you're figuring it out that like, hey, we need to readjust. We need to change something um, in order to make this work. Um, with that death here, it looks like you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So you guys aren't actually leaving the connection because you have the Queen of Swords here, okay? Dude, you got the King. Of swords and the queen of swords this is a perfect match okay so it's something that both of you know is actually a good a good thing but it's like something some things need to be tweaked okay again work or relationship if you guys are interested in love for january a lot of people it was cool going to christmas party because you know it's cuffing season if you're interested in a relationship most people are during the holidays then after Christmas, you're like, meh, it's like all the feels are gone, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, Aquarius is interested in love for January. Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, that doesn't look like that's happening. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a relationship actually coming in or a new relationship coming in, okay? Uh, you could still be dealing with an old relationship. Uh, you have two Cups in reverses and you have the Moon in reverse, okay? Yeah, double Moons. If you were gonna meet somebody, maybe it's gonna be a cancer, but it doesn't look like that's gonna work out. So, um, sorry for that, but I mean, I think we do just fine alone, okay? I prefer to be alone most of the time. <laughs> so, you also have to get a partner that um, understands you being, yeah, because you have the world. This is a new adventure, okay? This is a closing of something. Whether it's closing of this partnership, um, it looks like you're either not looking for love or not new love is coming in um, because you have the world card here, okay? Um, so, Again, endings of cycles, you have death and you have, you have the world. So it looks like you're moving on to something else. Um, with, with the partnership here, it doesn't look like you guys, either one of you are leave, leaving it because it is a good match, okay? So um, thank you, thank you to everybody for tuning in. And again, anything you want to hear about, just drop in the comment box below. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I have a lot of like really cool new people who commented the last like couple weeks. And I've just been freaking busy. I want to say lazy, but I haven't been. Um, but I'm getting all back to those comments too. So anything you guys want to hear about, uh, again, I talk about all kinds of stuff on here. Um, please watch other videos too. Uh, if you want to hear about like uh, specific things, because I might have already made a video about it. So all right, guys, thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Love you. Bye.